Okay, so good morning church and welcome po sa ating pong uh, combined Sunday school. So muli po ay uh, magandang umaga rin po sa mga uh, nanonood po sa atin um, online. So we are now about um, uh, to approach yung ating pong uh, sabi nga yearly na inaalala which is sabi natin yung mahal na araw po na kung saan ay inaalala po natin kung ano po yung ginawa po natin paano yung Kristo uh, sa krus ng uh, Uh, sa Cruz ng Calvario. So that's why, so for uh, three consecutive Sundays, so starting uh, today hanggang sa may April 9, so pag-uusapan po natin, pag-aaralan po natin sa ating series is The Seven Last Words of the Lord Jesus Christ on the Cross. So pag-uusapan po natin yung mga pitong winika ng Panginoon Yesu Cristo sa Cruz ng Calvario, okay, so bago po siya uh, mamatay, and then uh, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng mga words na ito Uh, sa o oh, yung mensahe na isiparating po ng Panginoon po sa atin. So, may request everyone to please stand up as we open our Bibles in the book of Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23. Uh, for the sake of time, instead of 26 to 43, so let's read it only 34 and 43. So, 34 and 43, Luke chapter 23, verse number 34, and also verse number 43. So, let's read it all together. Ready now? Read. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. In verse number uh, 20, 43, ready now? Read. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Let us pray. Dakila po namin Diyos, Amalang sa langit, Lord, thank you once again for uh, another Sunday na ibiligay niyo po sa bawat isa na kayo Panginoon makapag-aral muli na yung mga salita sa buong maghapong ito, O Diyos. Lord, bless our Sunday school. Bless our members and guide them, especially Lord, yung mga naghahanda at mga nasa daan patungo po rito. And also, Lord, sa mga nasa kaila mga tahanan na nakikinig, ay pagpalaan nyo rin po ang bawat isa. Maraming salamat po. Ito po nga dalangin sa pangalan Jesus. Amen. So you may now um, take your seats. Okay, so I, I believe that we are all familiar with the seven last words of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I think na... Uh, uh, even you are a Baptist or, or, or not a Baptist, uh, naririnig po natin yan. Okay, so because every Holy Week or every year na kusan ay dumaraan po tayo sa Holy Week, ay hindi po po pwede na hindi po, na, hindi po natin naririnig ang mga salitang ito. Kumbaga, ang salita na kung saan ay tagubilin ng ating Panginoon su Kristo bago po siya uh, mamatay. Okay, so actually, if we're going to read, Um, Book of Luke ay may kita po natin dito yung story po ng ating Panginoon especially simula sa uh, kanyang pagkapanganak and also hanggang po sa kanyang uh, pagkamatay. Okay, so and then um, sa talata po na binasa po natin dito po ay especially in verse number 26 up to verse number 23 this is Jesus is led away to be crucified. So ito na po yung panahon na kung saan po ay ay ipapako na po ang ating Panginoon Su Kristo na kung saan ay si, 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 si Pilato ay si Pilate ay nagbigay na po siya ng hatol na kung saan na even na itong si Pilate ay wala siyang nakitang kasalanan o kamalian o ginawang mali o kasalanan na para maglagay sa kanya sa ganong kaparaan ng kamatayan pero dahil sa udy- sa uh, sa sa, sa udyok ng mga leaders and also ng mga tao to crucify him Siyempre, sabi nga, bilang isang politician, bilang isang politician, sabi nga, uh, to, to gain, sabi nga, yung puso ng mga taong ito, susundin mo sila. To gain, sabi nga natin na uh, yung respect o sabi nga natin yung makuha mo yung loob ng mga taong ito, even though na ikaw ay, mag, ito si Pilato, ay nagbig, alam niya sa sarili niya na walang ginawang kasalanan itong si Jesus Christo, ay pero sabi nga dahil sa kagustuhan ng mga tao na siya ipako, siya ay ipinako sa krus. That's why, ito pong verse number 26 up to verse number 43, may kita po natin at dalawang unang winika ng ating Panginoon Su Kristo. First is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And also, ang kanyang ikalawang sinalita ay, Verily I say unto thee, today shalt thou be with me in in paradise. So, uh, I believe meron po tayo mga handouts dyan. So, uh, and also, I request, request ko rin po na please prepare din po yung pen because I think may mga uh, 
uh, underline po tayo, may mga blank po tayo dyan na you need to fill out para po uh, sa ating po pag-aaral sa umagang ito. So, nasa screen naman po yung ating po mga kakakailanganin. So now, tignan po natin dito. So, we are now about to remember or to celebrate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. But always remember na ang, kapang, ang kapang, kamatayan po ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay minsan lang pong nangyari. Okay, hindi na po tayo naniniwala na kung saan eh uh, taon-taon po na mamatay ang Panginoon. Kumbaga, uh, every holy uh, sabi nga uh, yung Friday, yung pinaka Friday po, ang dami po natin mga naririnig na mga pamahiin na sinasabi nila, o oh, bawal magkasugat kasi nga, di ba? So, matagal daw gagaling kasi patay daw ang Diyos. O oh, bawal maligo. Okay? Okay, so uh, pwede tayong maligo uh, pagkabuhay na ng Panginoon. So, we don't believe that. So, uh, that, that is the only uh, yung celebration na lamang yan eh, bilang sa atin, bilang isa man ng palataya that we're so glad na inaalala natin yung ganong mga celebration na kung saan ay eh, minsan ay may nagpaalala sa atin na kung saan meron pong namatay para po sa ating mga kasalanan. The reason why, okay? So, the reason why na kung saan ay eh, ang patuloy po tayo nagilingkod sa Panginoon. The reason why uh, many preachers, di ba, pastors, missionaries surrendered their life in the ministry because of this great story. The story of what the Lord has done on the cross. The story of Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins, for all, for all of us. And that is, sabi nga natin, a great motivation to each and every one of us, not only to celebrate that Diba? Holy Week, but also to remember our uh, status before, to remember who we are before, nung bago tayo nakakilala sa Panginoon. And that's, thank you for those missionaries who told us, o oh, pastors, or workers, or sabi nga natin, mga volunteers ng church, na minsan po lumapit po sa atin, at ipinalaganap, itinuro po sa atin, kung ano po ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo sa Krus ng, ng Kalbaryo. So ngayon po, tinigang po natin, mga pitong winika, but for now, dalawa lang po muna tayo, and the next Sunday, Pastor Dennis, so dalawa ulit, so and then pinakala Sunday po natin is tatlo po yung ating, pong, um, uh, at, tatlo po yung ating pag-aaralan. So the first thing, the first saying na makikita po natin dito, in verse number uh, 34, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So now, it says here, if anyone ever had good reason to withhold forgiveness from his enemies, it was the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe, and we believe that, that kung meron man magkakait ng kapatawaran para magpatawad sa kanyang mga kaaway o sa kanyang mga persecutors, none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Diba? So, kung meron man sabi nga natin na uh, magdadamot ng kapatawaran, diba? bilang, even tayo bilang isang tao, na kung saan isang tao nakagawa sa atin ng matinding kasalanan, parang hirap patawarin. But the Lord Jesus Christ says here, says that if any man or if anyone ever had good reason to withhold forgiveness from his enemies, it was the Lord Jesus Christ. He was the only true victim. He was the only true victim. As, as kumikita po natin yung mga talata sa may, uh, sa may verse number 4 of this, uh, of, of, of this chapter, chapter 23, verse number 4. It says here, Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the people, I find no fault in this man. I find no fault in this man. In 1 Peter, Chapter 2, in verse number 22. Who did no sin, neither was, was guile found in his, in his mouth. So it's, it's, it, the, the scripture says that he committed no sin, nor, sabi natin, was any deceit found in his mouth. Diba sabi natin, this Jesus Christ, sabi nga natin, na even, na hindi siya nagkasala, but may kita po natin yung nangyari sa kanya. And also, in, in, in Hebrews chapter 4, in verse number uh, in verse number 15, it says here, For, uh, for such an high priest became, became, uh, became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Kaya kung may po natin dito in also in the book of Hebrews, it says that he was been tempted, but the Bible says all things as we are, sabi, yet without sin. 
And also in, 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 in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse number 26, I'm sorry, uh, yung binasa ko kanina is Hebrews chapter uh, 27 verse 26. And also, ang sabi ng Bible dito in verse number 26, ay balikan po natin yung verse natin kanina, sorry, medyo uh, na ano po yung aking paningin. Sa so, Hebrews 4 verse number 15, For we have not a high priest which, can, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Tempted, but sabi nga, he, not, he didn't commit or commit sin. And also in verse number um, chapter 7, verse number uh, 26 of book of Hebrews, the Bible says there that he is holy, diba? innocent, harmless, or sabi nga, undefiled, and thus separated from from sinners. Kaya kung kita po natin dito, kung meron man pong karapat-dapat na sabihin natin ipako sa krus, sabi nga, hindi po siya yun eh. Okay? Because even pa, even yung naghato, yung nagbigay po, na sabi nga, yung nagbaba ng, uh, ng, uh, uh, ng, ng result, na sabi nga natin, ng hatol dito sa pang- kay, kay Jesus Christ, eh, sabi niya, I find no fault. Okay? I find no fault. That's what the Bible says in verse number, in verse number 4. So, Jesus, or oh, He was the only true victim, totally innocent of any wrongdoing. He never broke the law of God. He never seen in His actions, words, or thoughts. He never yielded to any temptation. So no one was less worthy of death than He. Even, even the evil Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, testified repeatedly, I find no fault or guilt in this Man. And yet, sabi nga natin, because dahil sa agustuhan ng mga raming tao, kung may kita nyo rin dyan in verse number 5 up to verse number 12, even in, dinala nila itong si Jesus Christ kay, 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 kay Herod, but kahit si Herod, wala siyang nagawa. Because he knows. Okay? Na kung saan wala siyang ginawang kasalanan. But, in verse number 13 up to verse number 25, they still reject Jesus Christ. Na kung saan, I, yes, sab, 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 um, sabi ni, ni, ni Pilate, okay, paparusahan natin siya, pero papalayain din natin siya. Because their ritual or their tradition, um, uh, during their feast, sabi natin, meron silang paparusahan, pero meron din papalayain. Pero during that time, ang mas pinili ng palayain ay sino? Si Barabbas, na kung saan ay isang mamamatay tao. Na kung saan ay isang, sabi natin, na uh, isang kriminal na mas pinili nila isang taong kriminal na palayain kaysa sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, you might think it was easy for Christ to be so forgiving. After all, He knew it was in God's plan for Him to die. Yes, we know. And we know that that, that, that is actually God's plan for Him to die on the cross for, for, for each and every one of us. He had a mission to fulfill and it involved His death he understood all that from the beginning. So forgiveness filled his heart, not condemnation or revenge. Kung baga, yung isang tao na kung saan ay nakagawa ng mga kasalanan, mga tao na kung saan ay sabihin natin ay hindi naman karapat-dapat, pero sabi ng Panginoon, Father, forgive them. So ano yung mensahe ng Father, forgive them? Letter A, sabi dyan, that is unme- unmeasurable forgiveness. Unmeasurable forgiveness. At the height of his agony, at the very moment when most victims of crucifixions might scream out in fairy with a curse, but Christ prayed for forgiveness for his tormentors. Kaya nga kumikita po natin dito, we know that Crucifixion, yung pagpako po sa krus, that is, sabi nga natin, uh, the brutal, sabi nga natin, uh, sentence to those people who is actually criminals, who is actually, uh, sabi nga natin, nakagawa ng mga kasalanan. At ibinilang nila ang Panginoon sa Kristo to those criminals, kung may kita po natin mamaya. So, but at the, at the height of His agony, nang sa Kanyang paghihirap, instead to curse those people, Instead, to revenge or to, sabi nga, uh, to, uh, to, to those people. Instead of pray. Diba? Sabi nga natin, bad things to those people. But He prayed. He says, Father, 
forgive them. Father, forgive them. So this word may probably spoken while our Lord Jesus Christ was being nailed to the cross. As soon as the cross was reared up on end. Kumbaga, nandiyan habang pinapako ang Panginoon, habang dumadaloy ang mga dugo sa kanyang mga kamay, habang, habang pinapakot siya'y naghihirap and he prayed, diba sabi niya, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. It is worthy of remarks that as soon as the blood of the great sacrifice began to flow, the great high priest began to intercede. Kaya nga, may kita po natin dito na tayo bilang isang tao, di ba? May kita po natin na hanggang saan ang ating pagpapatawad? Hanggang saan ang iyong pag-intindi? sa mga taong sabi nga natin na agawa sa iyo ng kasalanan. Kaya nga minsan, di ba, sabi nga natin, may mga tao, ba't di ka lumaban? Labanan mo! Sometimes kasi, hindi purket nung malaban tayo o gumaganti tayo is mahina tayo. That sometimes we need to be humble. Na sometimes wag ka na lang magsalita. Alright? Pero sabi nga natin, bilang isang tao, tayo, hanggang saan ang ating pagpapatawad? Even the Lord Jesus Christ, sabi nga, this is unmeasurable, unmeasurable forgiveness. Na kung saan hindi natin masusukat hanggang saan ang pagkapatawad ng ating Panginoon Kristo. So although Christ is the sovereign, eternal, omnipotent God, He did not threaten, He did not condemn, He did not pronounce doom or his, uh, on, on, on His crucifiers. Instead of lashing out against them, He prayed for them. He prayed for them. So the whole point of incarnation was forgiveness. The reason why ang Panginoon sa Kristo ay napunta sa mundo, pumunta siya dito at nagkatawan tao, it's because of our forgiveness para sa ating mga kapatawaran. Ayan naman eh, di ba? Sabi nga that Jesus Christ came here on earth to save and to seek that which was lost. The reason why na siya'y pinanganak. The reason why na siya'y sabi nga natin ay tinanggap ang mga paghihirap because dahil po sa ating kapatawaran. It was the very thing Jesus was dying for. It was what He was praying for. And it was He exemplified in His death. He gave us an example where somebody charged to, to follow. He set us a good example for us also to follow. Diba, sabi nga, may mga tao, o oh, sige, papatawarin kita. Pero hindi ko kakalimutan yung ginawa mo. Ha? Okay? May mga ganun eh. Diba? But when we forgive, we need also to forget. Diba? Just like what the Lord has done, nung pinatawad tayo ng Panginoon at humingi tayo ng tawad sa Panginoon, kinalimutan ng Panginoon who we are before. Kung sino man tayo dati. Diba? Kaya nga, this is also a good example for us that sabi nga, sa pagpapatawad, hindi natin kailangan sukatin na matin, dahil, oh, dahil hindi ako masyadong matindi kasalan mo sa akin, sige, kayang-kaya kitang patawarin. Pero ikaw, sobrang din ginawa mo. No. So, this is what, this is unmerciable forgiveness that we need also to do so. And also, not only unmeasurable, but also unlimited forgiveness. Unlimited forgiveness. The scope of that prayer surely extend beyond the people who were there that day. That prayer, hindi lang po intended for those people na present during that time. Okay? It is also, sabi nga, extend beyond the people. Sabi nga na hindi lamang yung mga tao during that day. To every person who has ever trusted Christ and so, and so receive His forgiveness. After all, our sins put Him there. That's why sabi nga, the forgiveness, that prayer, is not only limited for those people na sabi nga natin na mayaman, mahirap, o sino ka man. This prayer is for, to each and every one of us. So Jesus prays that the Father would forgive them who are they for whom He prays. The first is, syempre, isa sa mga karakter natin doon, mga soldiers. Soldiers. Okay? He could be praying for the Roman soldiers 
who routinely put men to death on this site of Golgotha. Okay, so that's why Golgotha, it means a place of skull. Okay, a, 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 place, a, a place of skull. Because dyan nila, uh, sabi nga natin, pinapatay o dyan nila dinadala yung mga tao na kung saan sabi nga natin, nakagawa ng, uh, ng mga hindi magandang mga bagay. So destroyed a human life, brutally, without compassion, but they didn't initiate the action. Okay? Hindi naman talaga sa kanya nang galing yon. Ito ay nang galing sa kanya ng mga pinuno na inutusan lamang sila. They had no choice. They merely following orders. Only after the fact did they realize with awe and terror what they had gone. Buksan po natin in Matthew chapter 27 in verse number 54. It says there, Now, when the centurion and they had were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake and those things that were done. They feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. This was the Son of God. So even these soldiers, diba? even those soldiers, they also sabi knew, nalaman nila during that time na kung saan, this, was, this is also, or He is the Son of, of God. So it could have been the soldiers He was forgiving. Not only the soldiers, syempre isa rin si Pilate. Okay? Also Pilate might have been a better candidate. However, against of all law, he had, for, he had given the order for the crucifixion. He had found Jesus innocent. Okay? He had found Jesus innocent of the crimes with which he had been charged. Yet, the pressure of the Jewish leaders and his fear of riot forced him to go against his own better judgment. Okay? Kaya kung may kita po natin dyan sa, may, uh, sa mga talata na yan, in verse number 26, it says there, and as they had, uh, in verse number uh, 13, especially in verse number 13, and then patuloy po. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that prevented the people. And behold, I have examined him before you and found no fault in this man touching those things whereof we accuse him. Okay? Kung ba sabi niya, Dinala niyo ito sa akin dati at wala talaga ako nakita sa kanya. At sabi nga, hindi ko siya kayang parusahan. Na, na sabi nga, at hindi ko nakikita nung mga, kung ano yung mga sinasabi niyo, mga paratang niyo sa kanya. Wala akong nakikita sa kanya. Alright? No, nor yet he wrote, sabi niya, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of that is, uh, is done unto him. Diba? Sabi niya, piyadala ko, ko siya even kay Herod, and then, even Herod. Diba? Wala naman siya nakita ang, uh, masama o ginawa itong taong ito para siya iparusahan. I will therefore chastise him and release him. Okay, sige. Paparusahan natin siya, pero, gaya ng ating tradisyon, papalayain din natin siya. Okay? For all necessity, that he must release one unto them at the feast. And they cried out, out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas, who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into prison. Okay? Kung bagay itong tao ito, kaya siya, kaya siya nakakulong because siya ay isang murderer. Then Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus. Okay? He's willing to release Jesus. He spake again to him, but they cried, saying, Crucify him. Crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why? What evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voice requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. Not hindi sa kanyang kagustuhan, kundi sa agustuhan ng mga tao. Alright? 
And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And he released unto them him, which is actually Barabbas, that found sedition and, mur and murder, what was cast into a prison whom they had desired. But he delivered Jesus to their, to their will. Diba? Kung baga, may kita po natin dito na even this person ay ginamit, diba para sabi natin ang Panginoon Kristo ay mapako, even though sabi nga natin ang Panginoon Kristo ay hindi nakakitaan ng uh, nakasalanan. Not only the, the, the pile, but also the chief priest and the scribes. Sila naman talaga yung nag-uudyok. Okay? Sila talaga yung nag-push to crucify Jesus Christ. Chief priest and the scribes were the prime force behind the crucifixion. Once Jesus has cleansed the temple of their greedy trade in animals and money charge changing at the outrageous ex uh, exchange rates, they were determined to kill him. So even when Jesus Christ entered to the temple, diba? and then nagalit ang Panginoon Kristo because ginawa nila sabi nga natin na uh, instead of house of prayer, house of sabi nga natin talaga mag-worship sa Panginoon, ginawa nila parang palengke. And then the scribes and chief priests were there and then they were also determined to kill Jesus. Behind the scenes, they had paid off Judas for his insider betrayal, sent temple soldiers to arrest him in the Garden of Gethsemane, tried to get people to testify false against Jesus before the Sanhedrin, then brought his case before Pilate and stirred up the crowd to demand that Jesus be crucified. Ang dami nilang ginawa. Di ba? This chief priest and also this, this uh, describe para lamang mahatulan ng Panginoon si Kristo. But, Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. And also the Pharisees and Sadducees were his early enemies. Plain teaching about the kingdom of God offended them both. The Sadducees sought to discredit him. The Pharisees were the first to actively plan Jesus' death. And also, not but not the least, you and I. When the Lord Jesus Christ said, Father, forgive them, not only for them, but also for me and for you. You and I, but when you think about it, we are the real ones that sent, that sent Jesus to the cross. Ang nag-udyok o ang reason why ang Panginoon Kristo accept the challenge and also submit to His Father na para po siya ay mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, it's because of us. It's because of you. Kaya nga tayo po bilang isama ng palataya, wala tayo may pagyayabang na because of our own strength, because of your own wealth, kung bakit ka nagkaroon ng kaligtasan, not because of you, because of His loving, or because of His love, and because of His unlimited forgiveness to each and every one of us. Kaya nga po, for our application for this first point, remember that there is no other name, there's no other name, only Jesus, who can provide forgiveness for all those who would ever believe in Him. Kung meron man titindig na kung saan ay magpapakilala sa iyo na siyang magiging tagapagligtas, don't believe it. Don't believe them. Because only Jesus can only provide forgiveness sa mga taong maniniwala at magsasa maghingi ng tawad sa kanilang mga kasalanan. So since Jesus showed His mercy and prayed for forgiveness of all, let us keep this as our example to forgive others also. Baka naman yung katabi mo na yan, matagal na kayo hindi nag-uusap. Okay? Baka naman yung katabi mo na yan, o sa likod mo, may kasama ka dito, matagal na kayo hindi nagkikibuan. Di ba? Kung ang Panginoon ay nagpapatawad, we should also, no? Nagpatawad din tayo sa iba. We should also forgive others, unmeasurable, sabi nga, forgiveness, and unlimited forgiveness. And last, pangalawa po natin, in verse number 20, 43, Verily, I say unto thee, today, 
shalt thou be with me in paradise. Shalt thou be with me in paradise. Basahin po natin verse number 35 up to verse number 43. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he Christ, the chosen of God, and the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And superscription also was written over him in letter, letters of Greek, in Latin, in Hebrew. Kumikita niyo po yung nakasuot po sa may cross na inri, di ba? So it means, this is the king of the Jews. In verse number 39, And one of the male factors, and one of these criminals, which were hung railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Kumbaga, during the time when the Lord Jesus Christ was hung on the cross, meron po siyang kasama. Na also, he was lined up. Kumbaga, nakasama niya ang dalawang criminals. Okay, I know, either sabi nga, kumikita po natin mga picture left and right. Okay, so, um, kasama niya. And then, ang isa sa mga criminals nagsabi sa kanya, kung ikaw, kung kiniklaim mo na ikaw si Kristo, o tagapagligtas, iligtas mo nga yung sarili mo at kami. Okay, iligtas mo yung sarili mo at pati na rin kami. But the other answer rebuke him. Pero yung isa, nirebuke siya, saying, Does thou, uh, does not thou fear God? Seeing thou art in the same condemnation, diba? and then and he and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. Diba? Sabi, hindi ka ba nahiya? Sabi nga natin, itong ta, ito, kasama natin dito, na tayo ikarapat dapat sa hatol na ating, sabi nga, na, uh, sa hatol na nararanasan natin ngayon. Pero ito, kasama natin na walang ginawang kasalanan. Okay? Verse number 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, yung, yung nag-rebuke, sabi niya, Lord, remember me when thou comes into thy kingdom. Kumaga, we don't know, hindi po sinabi po dito, kung narinig niya ba yung sinabi ng Panginoon na Father, forgive them. Diba? We don't know. But, dumaan sa punto na itong taong ito that he realized and he believed na ang kasama nila ay isang tagapagligtas ay isang Diyos. That's why sabi niya, And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And the Lord replied immediately. Sabi niya, And Jesus said unto him, Ngayon din, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. So Christ's second utterance from the cross marks the first an immediate glorious fulfillment of his prayer for his killer's forgiveness. When, when the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, forgive them, not necessarily mean na ang mga tao ito ay pinatawad na. Okay? Not necessarily mean na wala na silang kailangan gawin para sila ay mapatawad. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin no. But itong taong ito, dumating siya sa punto na may, siya ay gumawa. Okay? Na hindi lamang niya narinig o narinig o naintindihan na siya ay Diyos, pero ang kanyang ginawa ay siya ay nanampalataya. He believed in Jesus Christ. He believed, that's why sabi niya, Lord, remember me when thou comes into thy, into thy kingdom. So, Christ's second utterance from the cross marks the first and immediate glorious fulfillment of His prayer for His killer's Forgiveness. Kumbaga, ito na agad yung kasagutan sa kanyang panalangin na Father, forgive them. Na merong isang lumapit sa kanya at nag-umiyak sa kanya na kung saan sinasabi niya, Lord, pagating mo sa yung karian, alalahanin mo ako. Okay? It shows how generously that forgiveness was bestowed even on the most unlikely of recipients. Now, think about this. Gaano ka kasama before na may kita mo yung sarili mo ngayon? Lord, I can't imagine kung sino ako dati na ngayong Panginoon ay binigyan mo ng kaligtasan. 
Tama po? Sino ka ba before? Now, balikan natin kung sino sabi nga, di ba, huwag ka nang lumingon sa mga pinanggalingan mo. But this time, this is the uh, a right time for us to go back and reminish kung sino ba tayo dati nung bago tayo pinatawad ng ating Panginoon. Maybe sinasabi mo, ako yung tao na parang hindi na, pe, hindi na kayang iligtas. Ako yung tao na parang hindi na kayang magbago. Alright? Maybe isa ka sa mga taong iyon. Alright? So, as the hours of agony pass on the cross, one of the two thieves who had mocked Christ earlier now had change of heart. What prompted the change is not a mention. Yes, perhaps the thief heard and was touched by Jesus' prayer for mercy, realizing that it, that it applied to him. Whatever prompted him, o kung ano man yung kanya, uh, kanya narinig, o ano man, uh, asa man ang gani yung kanyang pagbabago, it was a tremendous miracle. So the man was undoubtedly one of the most sinful people on the scene. Why? Hindi naman siya makakarating sa ganong situation kung hindi siya makasalanan. Hindi siya makakarating doon na kung saan iyahang, kung saan kung hindi naman siya isang pusakal o isang sabi nga natin tao na hindi nakagawa ng matinding kasalanan. Hindi, hindi siya doon but that is, sabi nga natin, the evidence na isa siya sa mga masamang tao kung bakit siya nandudoon. He and his companion were, were career criminals, men whose, li- whose lives had been devoted to thievery and riot. Kung baga yung tao na sabi nga natin na wala lang ibang ginawang bumbuhay lang, pang, ang kanilang trabaho na lang is magnakaw, di ba, pumatay, gumawa ng mga, gumawa ng hindi magandang bagay. Diyan umiikot ang buhay nila. Okay? But, dumating sa pagkakataon ng itong taong ito ay nagpakumbaba sa Panginoon. <laughs> He realized na kailangan niya rin ng isang tagapagligtas. He realized na kailangan niya rin ng tao na kung saan, o na isang Diyos na kung saan ay magiligtas sa Kanya. But there came a point when one thief turned to silence and the silence turned to repentance and the thief heart was utterly changed. As he studied Jesus suffering all that abuse so patiently, never reviling or insulting his tormentors. The thief began to see that this man on the center cross was indeed who he claimed to be. The proof of his repentance is seen in his immediate change of behavior as his, as his uh, derisive insult turned to words of praise for, for Christ. Kaya nga sabi dito, First, he rebuked his partner in crime. Ano sabi niya? Hindi mo ba kilala itong taong ito? Nandito siya, kasama natin. Nagihirap na wala naman siyang ginawang kasalanan. Kaya nga then, he turned to Jesus and confessed his, him as Lord. Jesus, remember me. O Lord, remember me when thou comes into thy kingdom. So what is the meaning of that verse? What is the meaning of that verse when the Lord Jesus said, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise? That is the assurance of salvation. The assurance of our salvation. No sinner was ever given more explicit assurance of salvation. This most unlikely of saints was received immediate and unconditionally into the Savior's kingdom. The incident is one of the greatest biblical illustrations of the truth of justification by faith. This man had done nothing to merit salvation. He was in, the, in, in no position to do anything. He had no hope of ever earning Christ's favor. But realizing that he was in an utterly hopeless situation, the thief sought only a modest token of mercy from Christ. Kaya nga sabi dito, hindi naman niya kayang iligtas ang kanyang sarili. Hindi niya kayang magkaroon ng sariling kaligtasan. But kaya dumating siya dito sa pagiging humble. Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. 
His request was a final, desperate, and of his rope, plea for a small mercy, he knew he did not deserve. Kaya nga tayo, di ba, bilang isang kasalanan, lagi ating iisipin na yung grace ng Panginoon sa atin, yung, yung hindi natin deserve yung kaligtasan natin, pero patuloy tayo niligtas ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, the reason why kung bakit tayo nagpapatuloy in the service of the Lord, the reason why, di ba, kung bakit nagpapatuloy tayo ipalaganap, preach the Word of God sa iba't iba mga dako, because of the cross, because of His love, because of His forgiveness, because of the salvation na ibinibigay ng Panginoon sa atin. So we see by the story of the repentant thief to what extent Jesus takes pleasure in forgiving. Or forgiving. Let us read, let us, uh, let, let's have a humility. Come to Jesus for forgiveness and assured place in God's paradise. Kaya nga for, for our application for that uh, second point, remember that salvation is only by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. Not of works. It's only by grace. Because, sabi nga natin kung through works, maybe, yung isa sa mga uh, thief na yon ay sabi natin, hindi maliligtas. But, nagkaroon siya ng panampalataya sa Panginoon. And remember, that only those who will trust and call the name of the Lord will be saved. And remember this, that the day of salvation is now. Don't think that you are still strong. Don't think na ikaw'y bata pa. Don't think na marami ka pang gustong gawin. Huwag mong iisipin yan. Because always remember, life, di ba, ang buhay po natin sa mundong ito ay hindi po natin. Sabi nga, life is uncertain. Always remember that. Life is uncertain, but death is certain. Okay, ang buhay po natin, hindi po natin alam po hanggang kailan, pero ang kamatayan po, niwala po tayo, darating po iyan. Anytime. That's why, if you have a chance to believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord, remember what the Bible says. Diba, sabi nga, today is a day of salvation. Today is a time for you to accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Romans chapter 3 in verse number 23, and sabi doon, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. And sabi ng Bible, Romans chapter 3, in verse number, Romans 6, 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. John chapter 3, in verse number 16, For God so loved the world, how the Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated His love toward us, that He gave His, his life, uh, that for God so loved the world, that He gave His life, that He gave His Son, sorry, for God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son. Why? Diba, sabi nga, because, sabi nga, kung kayo maniniwala, that whosoever believeth in Him, ano yung promise ng Panginoon? Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Na kung katulad lang tayo ng isang, ng isang taong ito, na hindi niya inisip na kung gano'n siya kasama. Yes, nandun na, gano'n siya kasama, pero nagkaroon siya ng panapataya sa Panginoon. Don't ever think na hindi ka kayang patawarin ng Diyos. God wants you to have a humble heart and ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Now, before we end, and may request everyone to please stand up as we sing uh, a song entitled, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance. <laughs> Meron po tayo copy sa inyo sa may inyo pong uh, Sunday School handouts po. Okay, the first verse that now sing Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine 
Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, Visions of rapture, now burns on my sight. Angels ascending, brings from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Nakilang po namin Diyos sa manang salangit, Lord, salamat po muli sa umagang ito. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us about your unmeasurable forgiveness and your unlimited forgiveness and also for the assurance of salvation. Lord, continue to bless each and every one of us, especially, Lord, those visitors na kung sa Panginoon, kung hindi man sila pa nakakilala po sa inyo. Talk to, the, talk to them, Lord, and touch their hearts. At sila pa, kayo pa ngayon mausap sa kayo na tanggapin kayo bilang Panginoon sa rinagapagligtas. Help us, Lord, and give us courage to share your gospel, especially, Lord, for those people around us. Maraming salamat po. Ito pong aming dalangin sa pangalan Jesus. Amen. Alright, so our Sunday school now or this, is now dismissed. So, uh, kita-kita po tayo para po sa ating morning worship service.